Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on administering group with gpasswd command. In this tutorial, we will learn to set group administrator, set group member, add and delete user, remove password of a group, restrict access of a group. We will do this through some examples. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system. To practice this tutorial, you should have gone through the Linux system administration tutorials on this website. And you must have root access to your computer. We already know that we can use gpasswd command to set the password for a group. It can also be used to add members, delete members, give administrative rights, etc. This is the syntax. Here, the option field is not mandatory. For this demonstration, we will first create a group named Biotech. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on the keyboard. Now, Login as super user or root user. Here onwards, please remember to press the enter key after typing each command. Let us create a group biotech. The group biotech is added with the GID 1011. Now, let us secure this group access with a password. Type gpasswd space biotech then i will type the new password as pass underscore biotech retype the same password we will now add five new users to the system using add user command pause the video here and create the users with the following details for this demonstration i have already done this now, let us check the slash etc slash passwd file. We have got 5 new users, Abhishek, Ashok, Anushka, Asha and Anshu. Every group can have administrators and members. Now, who is the administrator of a group? Administrator is the one who can add and remove users from that group. Administrator can also change the password of the group. There can be more than one administrator for a group. Who is a member of a group? Members can access the group without being prompted for a password. We specify administrators and members as list of usernames. Let us see some examples. As a system administrator, you can use iPhone A option to add one or more group administrators. iPhone M option is to add one or more group members. You can use both iPhone A and iPhone M options together in a single command. Switch to the terminal. Type the command as shown. Note that we should not leave any space before or after the comma. This command will add Anshu, Ashok and Abhishek as a member of the group Payotech. And user Abhishek will be the group administrator. Let us now check the slash etc slash gshadow file for the entry of the group Biotech. Type the command as shown. Notice that Anshu, Ashok and Abhishek are listed as members of the group Biotech. And Abhishek is the group administrator. Now, let me try to add user Anshu as another administrator. Type the command as shown. Again, check the entry for the group Biotech in the gshadow file. Notice that now only Anshu is the administrator and Abhishek is not. 
What is the reason for this? G pass WD command with iPhone A option removes the existing administrators and replaces with the new ones. Let us now learn to set Abhishek and Anshu as administrators for the group Biotech. So type the command as shown. Make sure that there is no space between the comma and the username. Once again, check the entry for the group biotech in the gshadow file. This time, we can see that both Anshu and Abhishek are administrators. So then, how can we add a user to a group without replacing the existing member list? We have iPhone small a option for this purpose. Your user can be added to a group by a super user or a group administrator. Let me try to do this with the group administrator login. We will open a new terminal for this. Right click on the terminal and select open terminal from the pop-up. From this point onwards, we will use these two terminals. We will switch from one terminal to another for demonstration purpose. In the new terminal, note that we are logged in as user spoken. Let me log in as user Abhishek. To add user Asha to the group biotech, type the command as shown. The option iPhone small a can be used to add only one user at a time. The output says user Asha is added to the group biotech. Switch to the terminal where we are logged in as a root user. Now check the entry for the group biotech in the gshadow file. Notice that Asha is added as a member of the group biotech. We will check the details of the user Asha using the id command. Group biotech is listed as a supplementary group for the user Asha. How can we remove a user from a group? You can use the iPhone D option for this purpose. This option can be used to delete one user at a time. Both super user or group administrator can remove a user from the group. Switch to the terminal where we are logged in as a user Abhishek. Now to delete user Asha from the group biotech, type the command as shown. The user Asha has been removed from the group Biotech. Exit from the user account Abhishek. Now switch to the terminal where we are logged in as a root user. Check the entry for the group Biotech in the gshadow file. Notice that user Asha is no longer a member of the group Biotech. Let's see. What happens if we remove the password for the group? We have to use iPhone small r option for this. In the terminal, type g pass wd space iPhone r space biotech. Now check the entry for the group biotech in the gshadow file. Notice that the password is empty. We can see the users who are already listed as a member of this group. Only the members are allowed to use new GRP command to join in this group. Any non-member, for example, Asha cannot join the group anymore. Let us verify this. Switch to the second terminal. Now log in as user Ashok who is a member of the group Biotech. Then log in to the group Biotech. We didn't get any error. Now type the id command. The output shows that we are logged in to the group Biotech. So a member can log in to a group even if the group does not have any password. Exit from the group Biotech. Now log out from the user account Ashok. Let us now 
try to log in as user Asha, who is not a member of the group Biotech. Now, let me try to log into the group Biotech. It is asking for a password. As the group Biotech doesn't have any password, we can't proceed further. Press enter to exit from the group login process. So, we understand that a group need not have any password. But, in that case, a non-member will not be allowed to log in to that group. Exit from the user account Asha. Now, switch to the terminal where we are logged in as a root user. Now, set the password for the group Biotech. I will type the new password as new underscore pass. Retype the same password. The group password is changed now. Let us check the entry for the group Biotech in the gshadow file. We can see the encrypted password set here. While using gpasswd command, you should be careful about the following. Except for the options iPhone capital A and iPhone capital M, other options cannot be combined. Group administrator does not have permission to use gpasswd command with iPhone A or iPhone M option. Switch to the terminal in which we have logged in as a root user. Exit from the root access. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to set group administrator, set group member, add and delete user, remove password of a group, restrict access of a group. As an assignment, create a new group, Nanotech. Create four users, Rajesh, Sumita, Anjan and Chandan. Set Rajesh as the administrator of the group, Nanotech. Set Sumita and Anjan as members. Add user Chandan to the group. Remove Sumita from the group. Check if user Sumita can log in to the group. At every step, check the entry in the slash etc slash gshadow file. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. The script has been contributed by Antra and this is Praveen from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.